Okay, this is the third permutation exam question. And here's the story. There are five boys and four girls, and they go to the movies. And they're all seated next to each other in the same row. But one boy and a girl are a couple, and they want to sit next to each other at the end of the row of friends. In how many different ways can the entire group be seated? Well, what do you do with this? You take just, you've got five and four. There's nine people all together. But one boy and girl, they want to sit next to each other. Okay, so what we do is we take two of those people and we put them, uh, think of the two possibilities at the end of the rows. So it would look like this. This is how I do it. I've got a, the, the boy and the girl right here is two factorial. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other people. So one combination is two fact is um, is two factorial um, because they can sit both ways if they were on the left hand side times um, the whole number of different ways it can happen. There's um, there's seven people here, so that's seven factorial. So you've got two factorial this way because there's two ways they can sit at this end. You've got a two factorial if they sat on the other end of the row but then seven factorial in the middle. So basically there's two things at the end of each thing. You've got two times two factorial times seven factorial. That's why there's 20,160 ways it can happen with the one boy and girl sitting at the end. I just draw a picture of it, you know, that's how I work it out. I'm thinking, okay, the seven people in here, how many ways can they put them together? It's seven factorial. Then I imagine them at the end. Okay, how many ways that can that can happen? Well, there's two ways that can happen. And how many ways can it happen on the right side? There's two ways that that can happen. Okay, and so that's why it's two times two times seven factorial. Okay, let's look at the next question. If all the friends are seated randomly, calculate the probability that all the girls are sitting next to each other. What you got to imagine here, there's four girls and five boys. So what you have to do is imagine the four girls um, being together as a group, okay? Well, the number of ways you can arrange those four girls is four factorial. That's how many ways that, that can be. Um, the number of ways that you can uh, arrange the four girls and the one, two, three, four, five boys, because they all have to sit together. So you imagine them kind of being one choice and, and it can go all over the place. The four girls could all be here on the left or they could sit in between those two boys or like that. But the number of combinations is you treat them as one plus five more. That's six factorial, one, two, three, four, five boys, plus the four girls kind of treated as one choice makes the six factorial. Well, there's all the possibilities, arrangements, uh, the girls are four factorial times six factorial. But the total number of ways all the nine people can be arranged is nine factorial. So just put that in your calculator, four factorial times six factorial over nine factorial, and your calculator will tell you one chance in 21, which is 4.76% chance of it happening. Okay, well, that's it. Sometimes these things get a little bit tricky, um, when it's probability, remember you're putting a total here. The arrangements, I like to draw these boxes and then uh, make the decision uh, for how I put them together based on that. Okay, so I hope that kind of helps. Play it a couple times and maybe, um, or try the question yourself and play it a couple times, maybe you can make sense of it. Okay.